viewers. Welcome to another Bicycle Restoration Man video. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. I thought we'd go over some websites where you can buy your parts for your vintage restoration jobs. I have about nine to ten sites here I want to go over. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a disclaimer that these sites are being provided as a convenience and for informational purposes only. I do not receive any compensation from any of these sites, and I really bear no responsibility for the accuracy, legality, services, or content of these sites. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the content, I would suggest contacting the site itself. Now, I haven't said all that. I do let you know which sites I've dealt with and may give a positive opinion of them through my experience. So just remember, no one is perfect and your results may be different. So let's move on. The first one here is Casanova 9898. Now this is on eBay. This is an eBay store. Of course, you've all probably been to eBay before looking for parts. Uh, but I'm going to just go over a few specific uh, stores that I think um, they have very good ratings and they have very good parts and their shipping is very good. This Casanova 9898 is uh, run by David. And this is kind of my go-to guy for just about any parts I'm looking for. Uh, he has Japanese, Italian, French, and British parts. Uh, he has a great rating of 100%, and his shipping time is very good, even though he's out of Belgium. Now, I'll be going over these sites kind of just briefly, but just kind of highlighting some of the points of them and kind of why I chose them. Okay, our next site here is another eBay store, Vintage New Old Stock Bicycle Parts, uh, run by PB Bikes. This is uh, out of Portland, Oregon. I've ordered a few parts from this site and I never had a problem. They have some great high-end parts uh, from all the big companies. He has a rating of 99.9% and the things that I've ordered have come on a timely fashion and uh, I've been pretty satisfied with my purchases from them. Okay, we'll just go down here a little bit to scroll down and just uh, show you some of the things on his first page here. As you can see, he has some uh, headset parts. He does have some tools there and some books. So a very good site. And again, uh, I've never had any problems with him, and he has a decent rating. The next site now is uh, called Velobits. And again, this is also an eBay store. This will probably be the last eBay store that we'll be going over. Rob runs this site, and he's a great guy. His site offers and produces a lot of unusual cycling parts and accessories, along with some vintage and retro items. Uh, his high quality leather handlebar covers, which I have installed for myself, are second to none. Really nice leather handlebar wraps. In fact, uh, I have a video that I made on one of the wraps that I did, and I'll go ahead and put that in the description below if you want to take a look at that. Uh, he also carries uh, many chrome bar end plugs with different, uh, of course, different logos and brands of uh, bicycles on them. Uh, his rating is very good. His rating is 100% uh, and shipping time from England is excellent. Okay, our next site is Track Supermarket. And this is a Japanese specific site. Uh, lots of high-end parts, hard to find parts. I've had purchased uh, two sets of Soyo tires from them they were actually uh, sew-up tires, which were hard to find. Some of the bikes that I put together are Japanese bikes, of course, and they came with um, uh, tubular rims. He has a lot of high-end parts here. The person who runs this site is named Renee. He's very helpful. I've asked him several times about some parts that I was looking for, and he said he'd keep them out for him. Uh, he carries, of course, the high-end parts, accessories as well. He also carries some very nice frame sets like 3 Rensho, Nagasawa, Panasonic, just to mention a few. Uh, and if you're into building your own frames, he carries a lot of the parts that you would need to build your frame. Right over here you can see uh, track end joints. And we go down a little further. He has the vertical rear dropouts, some seat state end caps, and fork crowns. His shipping time is very awesome. I've ordered a few things and they've gotten here actually quicker than some things I've ordered from the U.S. So he's another good uh, resource for your Japanese parts. 
Okay, so this next site you've probably all heard of already called Velo Orange. A very popular site, but I just thought I'd throw it in here just in case maybe you haven't heard of it. The company's been around since 2006, and they're kind of geared for a different style of rider, a commuter, urban, probably touring, and century rides. They carry some really high and very nice looking parts. I'll go down here. And you can see the handlebars, handlebar covers, the uh, racks that they sell made for touring. If you haven't been to this site, I would suggest just going to it and just kind of strolling around it and looking at the parts they have. It's, it's really a neat site to look at. Very high-end parts. I ordered this from this site such a long time ago, I don't really remember what I ordered. I do have a project coming up, however. I'm going to build up an early 80s Lotus competition frame as a commuter bike. And I know I'll be using this site to find the parts to uh, put on that bike. I just wanted to show you some handlebars that they carry here just to give you a feel of the site if you haven't been here before. You can see they have some um, what they call mustache style handlebars. They have some tourist handlebars. Here's a very unusual one that kind of gives you an example of the type of parts that they carry here on this site. Anyway, it's a great site, and again, even if you're not in the market, I'd take a look at the site if you, if you haven't been to it yet, and uh, just look around. Okay, before we continue with the next site here, I just want to let you all know that I'm not affiliated with any of these sites at all. I'm not getting paid from them to do this. Um, they're just a few sites that I purchased from, and a few that I have in my bookmarked. I also want to let you know that um, I'll be posting all these sites down in the description below with their uh, website addresses. Also, I want to point out on some of these sites you might be able to see up here, they have a lot of information due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So I suggest you look that over to what they have to say there before you order anything off the sites. This site here uh, says that uh, the Japan Post is not shipping to 115 countries right now, but they are shipping FedEx and DHL, so you still can get the parts. So the next site here is Alex's Cycle. I have not purchased anything from this site yet. They carry everything from disc wheels to MTB tires to decals, saddlebags. Now when you first get on the site, the prices are in yen, but if you click on the item, at the bottom of the item there will be a price and next to that there will be an up and down arrow on the right side of the price so just click on the arrow and you can convert the price to many other currencies it's pretty simple from then on it'll keep all the prices in the currency that you selected now we'll just go ahead and scroll down and you can see some of the items that they carry you can see that uh, they have these ostrich side bags which are pretty different pretty unique and again this is a, a site that's from Japan you can see uh, I'll just go down and see more what they carry here and again just another resource for you and uh, if you're looking for those hard to find Japanese parts this might be the place to go okay the next site here is Velo Saloon and I want to point out up front here they have a COVID info banner on the top here uh, they're just stating that uh, items can only be sent via uh, FedEx. So go, remember to check those banners out at the top about the uh, COVID-19. Now this site uh, is out of Vienna, Austria. They carry vintage components, new old stock, spare parts, some new components as well. I have not purchased from this site yet, but they do have quite a selection in wheels, frames, and other components. I just want to uh, scroll down here and show you that they do carry some cotton handlebar tape in many colors, which comes in pretty handy if you're uh, restoring these uh, vintage bikes. So another site that uh, you might want to check out. Okay, now everybody, here's a real oldie but goodie, Euro Asia Import maybe one of the oldest bicycle parts business in the US. This company was started by Bob Hansing back in 1973. Uh, Mr. Hansing has a real rich cycling history. 
He worked for West Coast Cycle at one time. That's the company that produced the Nishiki. He also was asked by the Shimano family to head up the Shimano American Corporation. And he took that position um, and ran that for about three years or so. In 1976 is when he chose just to focus on EuroAsia. Mr. Hansing also started the Montrose Bike Shop, which is out of LA. Uh, some of you may have heard of that shop, pretty well known. So EuroAsia handles, of course, quite a line of different uh, parts from Shimano, Campi, Sagino, Diacomp, as well as they carry some Silka floor and frame pumps. They also carry parts for BMX bikes, mountain bikes, cyclocross bikes. We'll just go through here and show you some of the things they have here. Go to the road racing part. As you can see over to the left here, they have everything you could possibly want. They have a new arrival page. Looks like they have some, um, also have some power torque crank sets. So they've got a quite a few things on this side as well. And again, it's one of the oldest ones. So another one for you guys to look at. So the last one we'll be looking at today is the Cyclo Retro Marketplace Group. Now this, is, of course, is a Facebook page. This is sort of like a Craigslist on Facebook. I have not purchased anything on the site yet, but they sure have a lot of different parts and frames and bicycles and things for sale on this site. Here we have a Campy Shamal clincher wheel set. And have some bottom brackets, shifters. Here's a Campy Grupo. That's a Daytona 10 speed. We have a C record crank set, chain rings. So they've got quite a few things for sale on this site. And again, it's like a, a Craigslist uh, site. There are people from all over the world listing their parts on this. So I assume probably the safest way to go would be with PayPal. But um, anyway, just another uh, resource for you. I hope all this helps. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. And again, I'll be posting all of these places that we listed today below. And thanks again for watching. And we'll see you for the next one.